Kyle Field in Texas is never an easy place to play. And this year there were over 78,000 fans on hand to make it difficult for your buffs. Cody Hawkins made the start at quarterback and quickly got things going. He hit sophomore tailback Demetrius Sumler on a screen pass on the third play of the game that went for 40 yards into Aggie territory. Sumler's effort represented the longest play of the season thus far for Colorado. That would change later in the game. When that drive stalled, it was up to the defense to get the ball back. Chappelle Brown came up from his cornerback position to drop the AM running back for no gain on first down. Six plays later, freshman Curtis Cunningham registered CU's first sack and forced a fumble in the progress, the first turnover of the day. Then the Buffs pulled out a little trickery to get things going. Pitch by Hawkins, throws to his right to Scott. He throws it back off a bounce taken by Hawkins. Down the left sideline, the throw is caught by Ryer Gear. Rumbles inside the 20 and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. That thing was doomed, and somehow it worked. A pitch to Scott right side. As he got hit, they threw it back. The, sh the throw off a hop was taken by Hawkins, and he whipped it down the left side for a pickup of 23 yards by the Buffaloes. From there, Hawkins handed the ball off to Josh Smith on the end around for 11 yards to get Colorado inside the Aggies 10 and then on first down gave it to Speedy Stewart to take it in for a 7-0 lead that would stand for the rest of the quarter. Gives off Stewart trying to bend it around the corner finds the uh, bit of daylight dies to the end zone touchdown touchdown Colorado 702 to play opening quarter as Rodney Stewart scores his second collision touchdown and the Buffalo in the second Hawkins and Tyler Hansen took turns finding Scotty McKnight for 11-yard gains and two separate first downs. With the ball spotted at the 29-yard line, Eric Goodman looked to put the buffs up 10. But his attempt hit the left upright, and the buffs' kicking woes continued with their seventh consecutive miss. Texas A&M was able to mount a decent drive after the miss, but paid the price when they tried to go deep. D.J. Dykes dished out a big hit in the secondary and forced the Aggies to settle for their own field goal. Out of the shotgun, takes a snap, inside handoff to uh, the big man Scott, runs across the 40, goes airborne, still on his feet, running at the 25, running at the 20, at the 15, grab from behind, and eventually twisted down inside the 10-yard line. And how about that play by Daryl Scott when airborne, actually leaped over the defender and somehow stayed on his feet to pick up another 20 yards. The 42-yard run by Daryl Scott replaced Sumler's run as the longest play from scrimmage for CU and put the buffs in scoring position inside the 10-yard line. But a Hawkins interception in the end zone erased that drive and gave AM the ball at the 20 with just under three minutes remaining in the half. Ryan Walters and Sean Moeller sacked quarterback Jared Johnson for a huge 15-yard loss on third down to keep the Aggies from threatening after the turnover. Josh Smith returned upon 31 yards and gave the Buffs great field position to start their last possession of the half. With three seconds remaining, Jamison Davis came on to attempt a 30-yard field goal. Colorado on top, 7-3. Kick by Davis is up. It is on its way, and it is good. And a sigh of relief as a kick finally goes through the uprights with three seconds remaining in the first half. A&M took the ball in the second half. And after a nice defensive play by senior George Hippolyte to stop the rushing attack for a one-yard loss, the Aggies were able to add a touchdown on a 32-yard strike from Johnson. Johnson would add two more touchdown tosses late in the third, one from 59 yards and another from 10 yards out to extend the Aggie lead to 14. Hippolyte would add another sack early in the fourth to keep the Buffaloes' comeback hopes alive and keep Texas A&M out of the end zone. Late in the fourth, with the Buffs still down 24-10, Tyler Hansen hits Scotty McKnight for 29 yards on first down to cross midfield and set the table for a 10-yard scoring run by Sumler. Takes a snap. 
Gives the inside handoff to Demetrius Selma. Runs straight ahead. Five. End zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. 2.59 to play. And the Buffaloes now have 16 points. So they break that 14-point barrier for the first time in a month and are trailing 24-16. Now, within striking distance, the Buffs had one more chance to tie the game. Josh Smith returned the ensuing AM punt across midfield. But Hansen was picked off on his first pass attempt of the drive. And Colorado headed home, losing 24-17 on the road in the Big 12. In the game, the Buffaloes lost running back Rodney Stewart to a broken leg on an illegal horse collar tackle, leaving CU one more man down heading into Week 10.